Hey, it's I Want What's Orson. This is my summoning guide sponsored by Smoking Dice. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about choosing the pouch you will make and how to actually use the charms you will collect with the three best methods the regular, the kiat, and the trading methods. If you need information about getting the charms, then you can click the annotation on the screen. Okay, so first of all, I highly recommend to go check out the calculator I've made on RuneScape Wiki. The link is in the description. So this calculator shows very useful things. The pouch name, the level, the charm you need, the ingredient, the experience, and most importantly, the cost per GP with the banking and the trade methods. So the, all the prices are updated automatically every day. So my guide may become outdated, but this calculator will always be updated every day and will be up to date. So for example, the Steel Titan pouch costs around 2.5 GP per experience with the current prices with the regular methods. You can also sort the items or the elements in this calculator by clicking the little arrow. For example, the charms, so all the green charms will be all together. You can also sort them by the quens per experience and then sort it by the charms. So you have all the green charms and they are all sorted by their GP per experience. So it's very useful. Even though using my calculator is by far the best way to choose your pouch, I also make this little list. So first of all, I only recommend to use your gold charms at the beginning until you get level 28 where you can use screen charms to make compass mom. I don't recommend to use the green charms for unicorn starlion because they cost a lot. So only fruit bats. This is what I recommend. And for the gold charm, I only recommend to make the charms up to Barker Toad all the way to level 99 because they are not very expensive. For the blue charms, I suggest to save them until you get level 57, because at that level you can make Spirit Cat and they cost nearly nothing, so I highly recommend to make them the most giant, and finally the Jays or Titan, that give really good experience. For your Tristman's charm, I only recommend to use them once you're level 32, and then you will make mostly Granite Lobster and then Pacquiao. Okay, so for those who do not have a lot of money, this is the list I recommend. So first of all, I do not recommend to use print charms because they cost a lot. The minimum is like 10 GP per experience, so it's way too expensive. So for the gold charm, the thing you will make mostly is spirit spiders, in fact they give money. But it's very slow to train that way, so you can also make granite trap, they are very cheap too. And then all the way to level 99, from level 67, you will make war turtles. With the blue charm, I recommend to make spirit. Calfit and Spirit Kiak, like I said earlier. And finally, for the Crimson, the only thing you can make is Parilord and Granite Lobster without losing a lot of money. With this list, getting level 99 summoning should only cost you 25 million GPs. And finally, this is the list for those who have a lot of money and want to train summoning very fast, so most of the time you simply use the highest pouch you can make. Now I'll tell you what to do with the charms to turn them into pouches. So there are three main methods, the regular, the kiat and the trading method. So first of all, the regular method do not have any requirement, but the charm power is quite low, one that's 6k charm power. Then the second method is the kiat one. So for this method you will need at least level 57 summoning, and the charm power is way higher, 3.6k charm power. And finally, there's the trading methods, which is way faster than the two other ones, up to 10k charms per hour. So due to a recent update, the Troll Warzone, there's a trader named the Obelisk, and you can use him in order to unload the ingredients, so it's way faster. However, it's very expensive, at the very least, twice more cost than the two others' methods. However, it's way faster, like I said earlier. And for the real cost per experience with this method, you can check out the calculator I've showed at the beginning of this video. Okay, so first of all, the regular method. So you will train at the Torvald Obelisk, and the fastest way to get there is to simply teleport to Falador or to your house. So it's by far the easiest one, you simply run from the bank to the Obelisk, and when you're done, from the Obelisk to the bank. With this method, you can expect to make up to 1.6k pouches per hour. This is the items you will need to train with the regular method. So as usual, Spirit Shard, Pouch, Charm, and the Egg Brands, and that varies depending on the pouch you will make. Also for this specific method, you will need super energy potions and weight reducer gears. 
such as the sportier K for the agile top and bottom. As you can see, I do not recommend to bring a big set for them because first of all, below level 57, they cannot hold a lot of items. And secondly, and most importantly, you cannot directly withdraw the items from your beast of burden because your inventory will be full. So you'll have to drop things on the floor, then take the, your beast of burden items, then use them, then put them back inside your beast of burden, then take the things you drop on the floor. So it's a big waste of time and it's more efficient to simply use it regularly without a piece of burden. Ok, so first of all we'll draw the ingredients you will need, for example Swamp Toad if you're making Water Toad. If you don't know what the ingredients to use for what pouch, then I highly recommend to go check out my calculator or the link is in the description. So now when you have the ingredients, all you have to do is run to the obelisk, so east then north. When you're at the little obelisk place, you simply click on it and then use make all pouch. Now, when you have the pouches, simply run back to the bank, so south, then west. As you can see, there's a lot of running, so I highly recommend to have a high agility level or bring super energy potions. So when you're at the bank, use it, drop all the pouches you have made and withdraw more ingredients. So as you can see, right there, there's a fence and you can be blocked by it, so I highly recommend to don't go towards it, simply next to it, so you don't get blocked. So as you did earlier, you simply use all the ingredients in your inventory to turn them into pouches and run back to the bank. Okay, so now I'll talk about the Kiat method, which is with faster up to 3.6k charms power. So the way to do this is to use your spirit Kiat, the teleport option, to be teleported near the obelisk place. So it's way faster and you don't have to run as much as the other one. And for the banking, you can teleport to Castle Wars with the Ring of Dueling, or with the Kokul Zoo Teleport, will teleport you right next to them against it by far the fastest way to bank. However, you will need to have completed the quest Elder Kill. Okay, so as you can see, you will have the same inventory in the regular map. However, you will need a Spirit Hyak and either a Ring of Tooling or Tokul Zoo. The very first thing you want to do is change your left click option under Familiar to interact with. So you won't have to waste time actually finding your Hyak, you simply left click on your summoning logo. So now use the bank and withdraw all the ingredients you will need as usual. Left click on your summoning logo and select the second option or press 2 on your keyboard. Now go north and climb down this trap right there. There's a novel list. So simply click on it as usual and select the make all option. After that you want to back. So use your total zoo for example and the fourth option of your ring. If you're using a ring of dueling simply teleport to castle walls. So now use the bank drop all the pouches with raw more ingredients and teleport back to the obelisk place. So climb down the trap, use the obelisk right there, make all, use your Tokyo zone, the fourth option, and as you can see you're very near the bank, so it's by far the best way to bank with the new update, the Elder Kiln. So now go the trap, use the obelisk there, make all, use your ring, the fourth option, and repeat until you're level 99. And finally, the trading methods, so up to 10k charms power. So as you can see, it's the same place than the regular methods, but the strategy is completely different. So you won't have to run from the bank to the obelisk, you will stay at the obelisk to bolt high. And the fastest way to get there is to teleport to Falado or to your house to Torrelly. Okay, so this is what you will need for the trading methods, so spirit chart, pouch and charms, as usual. For the ingredients, they must be knotted with a lot of coins inside your money pouch. The first thing you want to do is change the amount of mouse button to only one and go inside a fixed screen mode because the first thing you do with this method is sell all the items you have inside your inventory, the noted ones. And for those who don't know, if you go inside a fixed mode and put them into the last row, you don't actually have to move the mouse to sell them. So it's very fast, all you have to do is spam click the plus button if you have mouse or the left button if you don't. So now you want to buy by the ingredients, so as you can see when you buy them back, they are not noted, so they are ready to use. So simply use the obelisk to sell the make all pouch option, and then you want to sell all the pouches you just made and withdraw more ingredients. So as you can see it's very very fast, we faster than two others methods, but you will lose a lot of cash because actually you won't sell the pouch for the G prices, but we bill to the traders, and when you will sell the noted ingredients, and buy them back, you will lose a little bit of money too. So if you want to know the real GP per experience, you can check out the calculator I've made. The link is in the descriptions. 
So simply keep doing this until you use all the charms you wanted to use. And you can also use the same strategy to sell the pouch and for the ingredients. So use the last item in the last row and simply click the plus button and it will sell them all at once. So as you can see right there. Even though the trading method works with every pouches that need tradable ingredients, I only recommend to use it for Chaser Titan, Arctic Bear and Barter Toad pouches because the cost for the trading method is not that much higher than the regular and the Kia method. 